So the cannonballs, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, the cannonballs are pulling through. This is all out freaking war. This is crazy. What is up guys, Milak here, and today we are back in action playing some totally accurate battle simulator tabs. And it's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out tremendously. So last time, we actually completed the Neon campaign. Uh, the new Neon units were added, and it's basically Star Wars. There's lightsabers, there's freaking laser pistols, there's beam rifles. It's like Halo, Star Wars, any sort of like sci-fi thing that's ever existed it's amazing it's very good i'm very i'm very happy with this update it's an amazing update anyways guys uh i have taken a bunch of your suggestions and uh by the way this this series lives and dies on your suggestions so make sure to uh it's definitely community oriented make sure to comment down below give me some battle situations and we'll try to make it happen so first thing i want to do is apparently the super peasant and then like the dark peasant has been changed so maybe we'll do some like star wars versus like superhero action here let's go ahead and grab uh what i want to do is let's see how good they are compared so 50,000 health for the super peasant let's just grab the super peasant and then what i want to do is let's do a bunch of like maybe energy sword masters i'm not sure let's do that many right there so eight oh it actually shows units now Oh, that's cool. I, I don't think I noticed that in the last update. It shows cost and units that you've built. That is really cool. So we have eight versus one. Let's go ahead and do 10 versus one. So 10 lightsaber masters uh, versus one superhero, super peasant. And then, so we got, these guys are definitely like Darth Maul. They have the dual-sided dual, uh, dual -sided lightsabers. Uh, it's amazing. Oh my god, look at the super peasant. He's like, no, he's flying around everywhere. He's, he's grabbing them by their, like, asses and flinging them around. It looks like all of the, oh my god, look at him. Okay, red is one. So red absolutely demolished the super peasant here. Let's go ahead and add maybe like a second super peasant. Yeah, let's do a second. We'll try out the Dark Peasant here, too. Let's do let's do three Super Peasants versus ten Lightsaber Masters. So, I, they just they just straight, like, fly charging them. That's amazing. Look at him. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's fly, flinging them straight up into the air. That's so awesome. That's so good. Okay. Dude, I love how they just grab on and they just fly around everywhere. Also, I was looking at Landfall's Twitter. Apparently, they're making, like, harpoon guys. They're making, like, a whole pirate tier, which I think is amazing. Um, it looks like the freaking Darth Maul's uh, Jedi Sith Masters here, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I just say Darth Maul because of the double lightsaber, but it could really be anything, to be honest. Um... It looks like they absolutely destroyed the Super Peasants, man. But anyways, I was looking at the Landfall Twitter, and they were doing... They were showing the pirate tier, and there was, like, people with flintlocks. There was, like, a harpoon gun guy. And the harpoon gun guy would, like, shoot a guy the far away and completely stretch his body. It looks like he went from, like, this this uh, humanoid to this just a blob, this giant stretch blob. It was really funny, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and try out four, I guess, or five. Five Super Peasants versus ten uh, Jedi Sword Masters or Jedi Saber Masters. So it looks like, dude, I'm actually very surprised by how well uh, these guys are holding up against the Super Peasants. I wonder how well this will work against the Dark... Oh, dude, the Super Peasants have definitely... Oh, wait, it looks like this is a much closer battle. Okay, blue actually won this time, so five is a little too much. Let's go, or four, I guess. Four is a little too much. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. Let's get one dark peasant here. And let's do one dark peasant uh, versus all these dudes. So apparently this guy is a little bit different, I guess. Oh, my God, he has, like, oh, my God. He has, like, floating orbs. This is, like, truth seeker orbs <laughs> or something i don't know or like uh is that isn't that what they're called in like naruto they're like the truth seeker orbs there's also plenty of other things you could re re relate this to so he doesn't do like the weird spike stuff anymore he has like these defensive orbs that like float around him which i think is pretty cool um and also apparently they have like some sort of gravitational pull this is crazy look at it. there's oh Oh my god, this is this is absolutely awesome. So he managed to take out two of them already. It doesn't seem like he targets a lot of them at once like he used to. This is so cool, guys. I like the Dark Peasant a lot. Um, yeah, this guy is definitely a super villain. He has glowy eyes and he's just absolutely crazy. 
He's just absolutely crazy. This is amazing. So, but I, I, I have faith. I have faith in the Jedi Order here. Or the Sith Order or something. I have faith in one of the two orders that the people with the lightsabers are going to be able to take out the Dark Peasant. But it actually, it looks like it's not going to be possible here. Uh, there's only one left. There's also this dude, which was laying on the ground. He's like hiding from the rest of everyone else. He's like, yo, dog, I don't want any part of this evil super villain here. Oh my god, they're just getting flung. Oh, they just got flung. Oh, I thought he got flung off the map. So one dude left. Have they even hit this guy? Okay, no, two guys left. I'm not even sure if they've hit this dude. Oh, he just got taken out. Hell yeah. Uh, so we have a 1v1 battle here. <laughs> um, oh, there we go, guys. Hell yeah. So the Dark Peasant has won. Um, let's see how many it's going to take. Let's go ahead and go back to Neon. Let's do... Hmm, but we do box guns. We could do beamers. Let's get, let's get a bunch of beamers. So that's 16. That would be six beamers. And we have some ga gravity dudes, Teslas. We could even do like the um, the cannons, right? Anyway, let's just see. Screw it. Let's just see how many it's going to take. There we go. We got 20 units. Let's just see how well uh, this works against the dark peasant. We have to be able to take this dude on at some point. Uh, also, I don't know how accurate these dudes are. So I wonder if they're going to be able to hit this uh, guy easily or not. Oh my God. Did you see that? Did you see that? That was crazy. Oh, come on. Come on. Get another shot. Get another shot on him, guys. You got this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I don't know if they're hitting him or not, though. It looks like this time he's already taken out most of the Jedi Masters. Dude, this is like Magneto versus just like normal peasants. Like normal humans. Like, it seems like there's no competition. Even with futuristic technology, Magneto just absolutely wrecks everything. <laughs> and then there he goes and they're all dead pretty much they're all dead dude the dark peasant is freaking powerful man he's so powerful oh my god that is crazy okay so we're gonna have to go hard guys we're gonna have to go real hard let's do box guns yeah let's get a bunch of box guns and then let's just get more beamers okay and then we're just gonna get more jedi masters it's just gonna be an army versus the dark lord here this is voldemort so let's see, what have I called him so far? I've called him Voldemort, I've called him Magneto, I've called him like uh, some kind of evil superhero. I've said he's like has true seeker orbs. I've referred this guy to a lot of <laughs> a lot of different things, but he's just pure evil incarnate. That's exactly what he is. Also, I apologize if I talk too much, I get excited and I just talk a lot. I've actually had a lot of people comment on my videos before, like if they're new to the channel, and they're like, oh my god, dude, will you just shut the hell up? I'm sorry, that's just the way I am. You just it just that's just the way I am. I talk a lot. I'll try to shut up here for a second though. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he's already taken out everything, man. Oh my god, that is crazy. That is so crazy. Where they just he just like he like matrix dodges these dudes. Yeah, I don't know what it's gonna take to take out the Dark Lord, guys. I have no idea what it's going to take to take out the Dark Lord. This is absolutely insane. Uh, let's... Gravity dudes? <laughs> we'll just use everything. Teslas? Uh, normal... No, we'll do energy pistols. We'll do more energy pistols. So we have 75 units here. I'll add one more. 75 versus one Dark Lord. You know, I wanted to do some of these battle situations, but... Oh my god, look... <laughs> look at this. This is nuts. He's just getting pelted by so many things, guys. Just He's getting pelted by so many things. This is absolutely nuts. I still think... Dude, the Dark Lord is still going to win. Is this dude invincible? I mean, I know how we can beat him. We, we would just have to use, like, crazy OP units, right? But this guy is just insane, man. It looks actually also like the beamers aren't even hitting him. He's just tore through everything. I don't even know what to do anymore. He's just tearing through everything. Oh, oh, we, oh my God. They actually, that one beamer just, oh my God. That one guy, MVP, beamers, MVP. That was crazy. So we managed to finally take out the Dark Lord. It only took like a hundred freaking Jedi Knights to do it. Um, so as for some of the battle situations here, uh, they told me to try out Super Peasants, all that stuff. I already tried that out, uh, but we could. Let's try, someone told me to try out Jedi Masters versus M16s. 
So let's try that. Let's try, try out the Jedi Masters. We'll try five Jedi Masters. And then let's go ahead and get some M16s here. And then I guess we'll just do... Wait, let's do... So this actually costs a lot more than the Jedi Masters. Let's just try this out. Oh, okay. Maybe the M16s are going to absolutely destroy the, these dudes. Maybe. They're shooting really, really fast. They've already taken out two! Oh, yeah. They haven't been, even been able to get close. M16s are obviously much stronger than lightsabers uh, or Jedi Knights, uh, proven here. Uh, well, these Jedi Knights, they can't deflect bullets, so... Let's go ahead and try... Let, no, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, let's try five versus one. Let's see if five versus one does any good. Okay, so let's try this out right here. I have a feeling that they are going to be able to reach him this time. So I guess it really depends. I, I don't know how much health this dude actually has. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, they just instantly crushed him. So if they manage to reach him, uh, they just crush him. So that's pretty good. So we're going to do our first, like, real scenario here. Uh, it's called Neon versus Napoleon. It's five beamers, 20 laser pistols, and five cannon boxes versus 10 cannons, 20 muskets, and five barrel rollers. So let me set this up real quick. Okay, guys, so we have uh, this right here, 20 laser pistols, whatever I said before, everything that I said before. So uh, we're going to see how well this works. I've set this up a little weird. I'm not sure how well it is going to work. We have muskets on the side, cannons in the back, and then barrel rollers in the front. And then we have laser pistols in the front. Then we have the box guns, and then we have the beamers in the back. Now, the beamers are probably going to be the hardest uh, portion of this for the red team, but maybe the cannons will be able to pull through and take them out. I'm not really sure. So let's go ahead and find out. So the cannonballs, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, the cannonballs are pulling through. Um, kind of. But the box guns, man, I feel like the box guns are just really OP. Uh, it looks like most of red team and most of blue team have already been taken out. It's mostly just one box gun and a few beamers left. Now the beamers are going to be the hardest part for the red team here. Okay, all the cans, oh yeah, beamers have got this for sure. Beamers have definitely got this, guys. Yeah, okay, yeah. So they actually took out most of the beamers. So what I think we're going to do is let's get rid of maybe two of the beamers and then let's retry this and see how well it goes. It might be a little bit more even. This is actually a pretty close match uh, to begin with, but it might be a little bit more even with uh, the two beamers not there. Okay, so the box guns are definitely going to work here. <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. I love the new... I love this game in general. It's just so amazing. I love setting up battles. I think it's... Oh, dude, they've already taken out most of the beamers. There's only one beamer left but there's still very few muskets and cannons and other stuff left. If they can just get a lucky hit and hit this one beamer. Oh, there's also this guy left. Oh, come on, cannon. C cannon, you got this, dude. No, there's only one musket left. So, blue team... Blue, blue team barely won. Okay, so we're going to retry this one more time. Let's do t uh, two. Two beamers here. I feel like if the beamers can be taken out early, then red team definitely has a chance of winning. So, uh, it looks like red team is already taken out. Yeah, the barrel rollers, man. The bar bar barrel rollers actually take out. Oh, red already won. Holy crap. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if that was just chance or what. But the barrel rollers take out the pistols before the pistols can even do anything. That's nuts. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead. I think we have one more setup here. I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. Okay, so this is our last scenario here. It's 25 Super Peasants versus 25 Energy Swords. He just said Energy Swords, but I'm assuming he meant the Masters because I feel like the normal ones are probably going to be taken out pretty well. And then and then five box guns in the back. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I have a feeling, though, that the Super Peasants are probably going to wipe the floor with these dudes, but maybe the box guns will actually make a difference. No, it seems like the box guns... Uh, didn't even really have time uh, to do their work. Also, it seems like they shot too far, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. The Super Peasants absolutely demolished. Okay, let's try this uh, a little bit differently here. Let's do... Let's put the box guns a little bit farther back. And let's do 10 of them. Yeah, let's do 10 box guns. And let's stick them a little bit farther back. I just want... I'm just curious to see if this will actually make a difference. No. See, the thing is, is they're not actually getting... Uh, the box guns aren't actually getting the superheroes. They're moving too fast at the beginning. But yeah, the super peasants by far have this one by a lot. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do is let's just do an ungodly amount of numbers. Let's just do an ungodly amount of numbers. We're going to do, let's just do 100. 100, okay, there we go. One, 103, sure, 100. Let's see how 100 units versus the super peasants do. This is all-out all war, man. This is all out freaking war. This is crazy. Oh, wow, guys. This is absolutely crazy. 
<laughs> oh, well, guys, this is actually much closer. Uh, I still feel like the Super Peasants are going to win, but this was a much closer battle. Yeah, there's only three Super Peasants left. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Go ahead and post suggestions down below, and hopefully they release the pirate uh, tier t uh, soon. I might actually put a little snippet of what they showed on Twitter at the end here, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.